Let me talk about this lighting real fast. It looks like I put a ton of highlighter on. I really didn't. Um, it's snowing outside, so it's very bright outside currently. We have like 10 inches of snow, which I'm super excited. But I'm just gonna shout that out. I also just took a shower, so my hair is still wet. And that's why I'm a little cattier than just because I was doing my makeup. Oh well. Hello everyone, my name is Blissful Melissa and today we're going to be talking about why New Year's resolutions are the absolute worst. So going into 2019, and at the beginning of any year pretty much, you'll see tons of people posting about their New Year's resolutions on the very first, and then about a month or so later, sometimes less, you'll see um, them talking about how they weren't successful and how they're giving up, which is why I think New Year's resolutions shouldn't be started on the first of anything. It should just start when it happens. Instead of saying you're dieting, just change your way of lifestyle and that makes it so much easier. So her and I have done like a little support system thing at work, we check in with each other and make sure. And I started this actually late in December. So I decided I wasn't gonna do like New Year's resolution and lose weight and stuff. I just overall was like, hey, I'm gonna do this thing. So about mid-December, I started the keto diet. I know, it sounds intimidating. It's diet, but trust me, it's not scary at all. So it is based on the low carb, high fat, which works really nice for me because I love cheese so much. And a lot of these diets say cut out all dairy products and stuff, and I appreciate it for those people who it's like an issue for them. But for me, I just can't live without cheese. So I can eat as much as that as I want, but it's just cutting out all your starches and carbs, so like potatoes and all sorts of bread, pasta, pizza, all those things. It was a little hard at first because your body still like craves it. And don't let people tell you that you need carbs. You don't need carbs to survive, trust me. Um, you get carbs through other things. You don't just have to eat like breads and stuff to get it. So it's been working really great. As of today, I have lost 17 pounds, woo! I know, you can't tell a big difference, but I feel better. Like, I feel some of my clothes fitting differently. But obviously, I didn't start the first, so I didn't feel this rush to like do something. I motivated myself in December because the holidays were coming, like Christmas cookies are the worst for me because I'll just eat all of them. I was like, you know what? We're gonna make a difference now and not in January when everyone else is doing it because then it's crazy. And this way, I have no tie like if I get off of it it's not like oh I broke my new year's resolution it was just a thing that I was gonna do until I'm done another reason that new year's resolutions are the absolute worst is because a lot of people make it like, crazy like we're gonna diet like I talked about we're gonna go to the gym and like work out every day and stuff like if you don't normally work out like I applaud those people you know there's like a handful of people who actually do like put it into their lifestyle but I'd say don't go out and buy a gym membership start easy at home like with the lifestyle change honestly if you want to lose weight just change what you're eating in my opinion because I haven't worked out at all and I've lost 17 pounds in like maybe a month less than a month roughly because it's mid-December and I feel great. I never had to go to the gym. I never had to do these weird workouts. I didn't do yoga or any of this stuff. But then I also feel like with New Year's resolutions, it's just looming over your head. Like when you post about it on Facebook or any social media, I'm just using Facebook because that's the most common thing you see people post their New Year's resolutions on. But the big thing is like putting it out there and like everyone knows. You don't necessarily want everyone to know. It makes it a lot easier to do it when not everyone's like, oh, so you're not drinking soda? Wow, how's that going? Yeah, it doesn't always work out that well. When people are, they're asking you about it, do it more as a secret, like write it in your journal that I'm gonna do this. You don't have to announce it to everyone. Just slowly make the changes for yourself. Don't do it for other people. Look at how much snow is out there right now. The birds are loving it. I'm personally loving it. It's insane. 
like look at that like where was this on Christmas Day like this is what I want to wake up to on Christmas but now no just random Saturday in January we get a ton of snow so besides the whole ranty bit about New Year's resolutions are the worst pretty much just being like <sighs> stresses me out seeing a lot of people posting about things because I don't like people to fail I just want people to succeed and do their best and instead of posting about it on the first you should wait it's like a month or two in and if you're still holding to it then be like guess what New Year's resolutions going great here's a little update of what I decided to do and how it's going I think that's how it should be done instead of on the first of January do it like the 23rd of March why not you know that's the best way to do it. That way, not you're not with doing what everyone else is doing. But I need to pick up my room. It's crazy. This behind me, just don't even look at it. That's just going to be crazy. It's all my coupons and stuff <laughs> that haven't come into effect yet. But I really need to clean. It's Yeah, look at this. You see this? I got plays and songbooks. I got this calendar that has... All, every like national holiday so it's like a peanut butter jelly day cuddle day yep all of it I am thinking of posting it on my Instagram um, every day be like it's national fill in the blank day what would you all think of that let me know down below it, it's just been insane I feel like in January because it's like recovering from Christmas you don't really get a lot of time to like clean and stuff I did make my bed as you can tell which I'm very proud about but that's kind of about it I put away a lot of my Christmas decorations I have some flowers that probably no they still got a few more days to them but other than that I have a pile of blankets on my floor that are clean I also have a basket of clean laundry, so let's get to it. This is what I'm planning on to organize right now, okay? I swore to myself it wouldn't get this bad, but it's so easy to just put everything on your nightstand, which is not okay. Also, I have an ornament box down here that's just chilling next to my bed, like I really need that. I did, in the middle of the night, have a super sore throat, so that's what all of these Paul's Defense Vitamin C Drops for. I went through like five of them, not gonna lie. You're probably only supposed to have a few every so often. Nope, I just kept popping them in. So the goal is to just take care of all of this. It looks so much better. I know I just kind of threw it all on my bed, but this is the stuff I want to keep over here. Actually, I might go ahead and keep that game up there because you can play that just chilling in your bed. But all of this stuff, oh, hi George, was up there, like straws, my label maker can get put away, trash bags, bubbles, notebooks, tip. these tickets, look at this, this is Lord of the Rings, it was $4, and the date, is there a date on it, 12-26-03, fun times. The next thing I want to conquer also, you might see how light it is in my room. I changed the light bulbs in my ceiling fan, so now I can have more light than just these little twink lights, which was super exciting for me. Also, my floor is a mess because there's blankets all over. I'm glad it's a snow day today so I can just focus on cleaning this up. I got quite a bit put away. Not all of it yet, but I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast because it is about quarter till 11. So, I should probably eat something. That would be good. <laughs> so, I went downstairs. I had some bacon for breakfast along with some cheese and a hot dog because the hot dogs are my weakness. Um, now it's back to putting things away. So I'm one of those people that wore laundry. It's like, yeah, I'm super motivated. I'm gonna do laundry. So I put it in the wash, put it in the dryer, make it to the basket, and then it never leaves the basket. So I have a huge basket of clean laundry sitting in my room that 
everyone mistakes for dirty laundry, but I was like, no, that's clean. So that might be my next task. Laundry is done now. I am exhausted. That's why. Um, does anyone else feel that in when they put like socks into a load when they come out of the dryer, they're just not all there? Because I found three socks that don't have matches, but I know I had matches when they went in. Also, this is very loud. <clears throat> oh, got some lipstick on my lip. Okay, also. In the mix of my clean laundry, I found a box full of movies. Like the first four Harry Potter movies, lots of musicals, House of Moving Castle. Yeah, my Star Trek movies. Like, what? Time lapse, you definitely can't tell, but there's someone I flip it over and I just see this box. I was like, why is there a box in my dirty clothes? Well, not dirty. My clean clothes. They are clean, trust me, because I just put them all away. Most of them I had folded already, which I had forgotten about. You know it's been a while when you forgot what you even did to your laundry. I do have my window open. Is that bad? I've turned off the heat and it's blizzarding outside and my window's cracked open just because it got so hot. I go downstairs and it's set on like 75 degrees. I was like, we don't need it this hot. Oh, just because it's cold outside doesn't mean we have to crank up the heat but I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's up here and what needs to not be up here so of course I have all my music books and some of my plays that's not all of them and then I have all my little figurines okay shout out to this little Niffler guy um, at Michael's they had their crimes of Grindelwald mystery creatures well there was not just creatures as the characters too and I ends up getting him, which I'm in love with, and then my, which he actually matches this big plush. They're the same, they're both holding their little gold coins. So I like this area. Um, the earrings and stuff are kind of a mess. It is not the ninth. It's currently the 12th. Then the earrings, then I found this random dye that needs to go. But these flowers, oops, these flowers, are okay for maybe at the end of the day but I got these at Michaels yes there's still the tag on them to kind of replace the real flowers that I have going on so I'm planning to set these here but then I also have my little fantastic beasts suitcase Lego set that I got for Christmas back here that I love up here with my fresh balsam candle this candle needs to go away this stain needs to go away there's my lovely candle kit I don't know accessories the extinguisher and the whack the I cannot talk and the wick trimmer and then I have my little snow globe and then I found this cute little earring holder that I got like years and years ago but I was like you know what I'm gonna utilize this for some of my earrings and then this is kind of chaos also my little basset hound fell down there you go so my best town cookie jar, with my raccoon candy jar, little thing of Nutella, my Niffler ornament, and then I put my wands up there, but they're not stained with my Ginny doll. So this is definitely like Fantastic Beast Harry Potter-esque with just random stuff. So I feel like I need to kind of clean this up and look, make it look more presentable. And here is the finished product. So now that I'm seeing these flowers here though, I'm not 100% sure I like them here. I might move them, but it looks more springy, definitely, other than my raccoon up there has a scarf on, but I'm happy with this. It looks a lot neater in my opinion. So it is later in the day, even though it doesn't seem like that because it's still snowing. There's so much snow outside. It's in Insane. Um, it's about quarter to five. I just got finished watching. I watched The Scorch Trials and then Death Cure because I'd never seen those movies, but I had read the books and I absolutely loved the books, so I did ball my eyes out at the end of the Death Cure. But it's so 
good. The books, way better. Of course, always. The books are always way better than the movies, but I would definitely recommend it if you haven't seen them or read the books. It's worth it. I know they're not, like, super new. They're newer, though. Right? I don't know. I would definitely recommend them, all of them. They're so good. So good. I love them. George and I were just chilling on the bed. We took a break from cleaning and... Yeah, organizing and whatnot, and then I got cuddled in the bed, and he jumped in next to me, and so he's still there. There he is, sleeping like a little baby, and I have all this crap back there as well. Um, I just kind of moved it over so we could cuddle up and watch a movie on my computer. I don't think I'm gonna do any more cleaning today. For the most part, it's at least organized and kind of picked up. The stuff in my bed will probably just go on the floor. Let's be real. Just gonna sit on the floor and deal with it tomorrow or maybe this evening if I'm feeling motivated but now I really want to go read I'm in the reading mood all of a sudden or watch another movie maybe Harry Potter I don't know awesome here's my sleepy little George he's just being a baby oh hi sorry mommy woke you up oh oh you're so cuddly oh. So I am currently editing the video that you guys have been watching and realized I never ended it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to ding the little bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you all very soon. 